everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I have got a kind of a how-to um, tutorial. Um, this has come about from a message I received from one of my YouTube subscribers um, just saying how she, you know, kind of maybe struggles or just finds this a little bit um, hard to follow. Um, and I've seen lots and lots of comments and messages about this board and there's real mixed emotions with it. Some people just cannot get to grips with it at all. Um, and I must admit, when I first got it, <clears throat> um, I made the mistake that people are doing. But as soon as you as soon as you get it right, then you, you kind of just forget everything that you did before and it completely makes sense. So I just wanted to show you, I've got some cards here that I need to gen genuinely make envelopes for, so I just thought I'd just do a tutorial of me doing that. So I love the board, it's really, really good. It could do with being a bit bigger, because when you do have bigger cards, the, the paper for the envelope does come off and this score line that you follow here you tend to go off there and I then have to get a ruler and continue the scoring but other than that it's it's brilliant to be honest I don't make that many huge cards so I'm usually okay with it but it's the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board they do have others as well and there are, are other brands so but um, I know stamping up one's the same setup as this and I think there's another brand as well so hopefully you'll be able to follow so basically you have three charts here um, with all of the sizes right up into a card that's six by eight and a half inches so a nice big card and the smallest card is a gift card at two by three and a half so if I just bring this up here this card size column that basically means the physical size of the greeting card that you are going to give somebody okay so this one here that I've got is a four by four card so what I would do is I would look for 4x4 four four, or the closest measurement to the card that you have. So if I come down to the second chart, I can see here card size 4x4. Four four. Okay, so that is the one that I need. You then go along then to this one here where it says paper size and it's telling me that I need to cut a piece of paper down to 6 and 7 eighths of an inch by 6 and 7 eighths of an inch. So a square piece of paper. So I have pre-cut this piece here, which is that six by seven eighths of an inch squared. Okay, so I just get it back into focus there. Now, when you go along, it's got this score line and it's telling me that the score line I need to follow is three and a half. Now, this is where I think people get a bit confused. So remember three and a half. And what you're going to do is pop your paper in because it's square. It doesn't matter which side. And you're going to line it up to three and a half here. Now you do need to make sure it's exact because if you're slightly out, every time you rotate it, that measurement will double um, and it will just completely put you out um, and you'll end up with a wonky envelope. So it has to be exact, so three and a half. Now, the good thing with this board is it comes with its own little score tool. And what you wanna do is score down, so you've got this little notch here to the right hand side, just rest your score, your score tool on that um, right hand side and it will naturally sit in the valley of this score line underneath this board. And you just want to score down and it will just meet up with that. Once you've done so, punch a hole, or you can punch and then score it, it's entirely up to you. Now, what you need to do next, now there's two ways that you can do it, is you rotate the card, okay, anti-clockwise, and you now, where this here, it says score guide, you no longer need to put the card at three and a half, and that's where people make the mistake. You don't need to do that no more. You forget about that three and a half measurement. All you need to do is line this little piece of plastic that sticks out with that score line that you'd previously made. So you just pop it inside there and line it up. Make sure again that it's exactly lined up. Punch a hole. And again, hold that score tool onto the right hand side and score. Okay. And there you can see, I'm starting to get this image here on my paper. So again, then you want to rotate and you're now lining this up with this score line. So it's always lining up with the previous score line that you've just made. So again, just punch it in. And put another little score line in and then rotate, punch and score. Okay, now inside here, you can sit that on top and I can see that my 4x4 four four is going to sit nicely inside and the envelope will always be over by maybe 
I don't know, maybe between one eighth and a quarter of an inch. So it gives you that um, kind of border around all of your cards. Okay, so that shape now resembles this here. Then on this little bit here at the top, if you just pop your card, um, the tip of it, and punch, it will corner round punch your envelope. You can do all of them if you need to, but I only ever do the top one because when you fold them all together, that's the only one you see and it's a good way for me to just um, explain what I'm doing. So this is the top of my envelope, so this is my um, curved little piece that I just cut. And you're just going to fold up each of those score lines. So bring up the bottom one and then bring in the two sides. Like so. Okay. And there you can see you have your envelope. So what I'm going to do now is I just put a little bit of tape on the bottom one on each side and that way I know that it's going to meet the um, paper underneath. So I'll just put a bit there and a bit there. You can use some you know, tacky glue, glue dots, um, but this is just perfect because it keeps it nice and flat and it doesn't warp the paper either. Just fold that over and stick it down. And then if you want, I always just cut, you can cut a nice neat square if you need to, but I'm just gonna do that just for the top, just to seal it. Okay, and then pop my little envelope. This one's a bit of a bulky envelope, but it should still, yeah, it fits in there perfectly. Like so, and then I can just fold that down, seal it up, and then put a little sticker all right on the top of my envelope. So that is, how straightforward it is and that's for a 4x4 four four. so I won't show you another 4x4 four four. I'll do that one off camera I'll show you now a different kind of size so this one here is a five and a quarter by five and a quarter card okay so again I'll bring you to the gauge um, the gauge the little charts here so one thing it doesn't do is it only goes up in half inches so you can see here you've got two then you've got two and a half three 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 and a half so on and so forth. So because this is five and a quarter by five and a quarter, I need to find the closest one to that. And obviously you don't want to go smaller. So therefore I need a five and a half by five and a half measurement. So I just go all the way down. And then if I come over to the third one and I come down here, I can see five and a half by five and a half. And I scroll along and it's telling me there that I need paper that's nine by nine. And it's telling me I need to make my first score line at four and a half. Okay, so again, I've got my nine by nine paper. I'm gonna pop that in and line it up at four and a half. Again, make sure it's bang on, and then punch that one and do the same, like so. And then remember, forget that now, you only need the four and a half for the first initial punch. After that, all you're doing is lining it up with this score line here. And if you just follow that, you should always get perfect envelopes. I've never ever had a problem. Once I mastered it, like I said, I love it. And it's so quick, you know, if I'm running out the door and I've got a card and I think, oh shoot, I forgot to do the envelope, which is why I'm getting ahead of myself now in doing this, then this is perfect. So then again, there's that one. And again, if I just sit that inside, I can see there that I've got a nice border around and that's going to sit perfectly inside so again I'll just fold this one all in we'll corner punch that one there again the corner punch is optional you don't have to do that it's just a nice little touch and that actually my actual punch there didn't round that piece off as neatly as I'd like so I'll just trim that there okay so that one like so and then again so that's my top one because I've just corner punched it this bottom one I'll just pop so again tape. just fold the two sides in and then bring up that bottom one and there I have another perfect envelope again just pop a little tape on there and then I can just peel that off when I need to stick it down and there's another one and it's perfect. So that's that one. And then I've got one more size to show you here, or have I got two more? 
Well, I've got a five by five and a six and a half and a four and a quarter. I'll do this one here. The five by five, I think you will get now. So I'll maybe leave that one. Let's do this one because it's a different size. And this is quite a common size um, card. So this is a six and a quarter by four and a half. So again, if I scroll down here, so I've got four and a half. Obviously, it won't do the six and a quarter because it goes up in half inches. So the closest one here, and it actually tells you it's A6. So it's, a, it's like a default size, just like the one that's two above, which is an A2 size. It says A7, A8. So that's good as well. If you know that it's that size, you can just kind of go straight to it. So this one here is four and a half by six and a half. So it's my card is four and a half by six and a quarter, but that will fit fine. So again, I'll go across there and it's telling me that I need a car, a piece of paper that's cut down to eight and seven eighths of an inch by eight and seven eighths of an inch. And the score line I need to initially punch and score at is three and three quarters. Okay, so again, get my card that I've pre-cut. Three and three quarters. Okay, punch and score, rotate, punch and score, and just continue that again. Okay, so straight away you can see there that now you've got more of a rectangle card because the punch board just knows that the measurement, the first initial punch that you do it at and the card, the paper size that you've cut, it will naturally just make the shape that it needs to. So it's very clever. And again, I can sit that inside and see that that's going to fit perfectly inside my envelope. So again, I'll just quickly whiz through and put this one together. Okay, so again, fold those in, fold that one up. And I can just pop that card in. Again, put that little bit of tape there. Actually, you're not going to see that. And fold over that top one. So there you have it, and they are perfect. They are no different to a shop brought envelope. So there's those three. I'm gonna carry on and do those other ones. I hope that you found this useful and it's maybe made um, more sense of that board for you. Um, please just leave me any comments um, in the comment section below. I'm happy to reply. And if you'd like me to do any other tutorials or some more explanations, I'm more than happy to. Thanks for watching this quick one from me today and tune in for another tutorial later in the week. Thanks for watching. Bye.